Hello, this is MK West from Media Dropout, and today we'll be talking about how to maximize torrent speeds. Okay, first off, I'll be using uTorrent for this demonstration, specifically uTorrent 3.0. And uh, right now we'll be downloading, we'll be using a torrent from legittorrents.info, which is free torrents, 100% legal. I have a public domain or um, items out of copyright. EXT here stands for external torrent and this is a nice site with a forum included in case you want to discuss any dead seeds or dead torrents do I have no seeds mm, this be downloading outsiders okay download fat open with U torrent okay okay when you're starting to download always look at the health the health determines how good the torrent will be for you see here's that four bars the health bar is indicated by how many cedars, the ratio between how many cedars and leeches there are, cedars being the people who upload the torrent, and leeches being the people who download the torrent. That would be you most likely. Okay, here. Peers, these are people downloading from you. Uh, basic explanation. I might as well explain the settings for you, torrent, in case you're not familiar with them or you're new. Upload speed. Okay. First of all, when downloading a torrent like this, you want to go through the low seeders. These are public trackers, these are seeds that nearly every torrent uses. And here's a list of seeders, I'll be putting this in the description. And basically you just copy it. And well, as you can see, famous sites where most people download their torrents from, like Sumo Tracker, Pirate Bay, and store up. So we'll just copy and paste that and go into the properties. Here you can add trackers. You always, if it's like that, if your typing line is near announce or tracker before, press enter and go to a new line all the time, then paste it in and it should be fine. This is a bit dodgy, but it should work anyway if I press OK. And as you can see here, the trackers have increased. Some trackers won't work, some trackers will, but this is just for if you're really, like, if you're on one bar and you can't get no seeders. See, my down speed is alright. It's not good, but it's alright. So we'll just pause that for now, we don't want to download it too early. The second technique for increasing your speed would be searching for other cedars manually. You see here files this is if you go into info on a specific torrent there's something called hash. If you copy that this is like a, a code, a barcode for being the torrent being the product. This is like a unique barcode only belonging to that torrent. So you just go on the internet, Google it paste it in the hash and you should brew brought up on sites that have it. so we got links on isohunt and torrents.eu so we wanna this site is already also torrenting with this so we'll be downloading that open with the uTorrent and it should say the torrent you are trying to add is already in the list of torrents do you want to load the trackers that's what we want for trackers and we should add more trackers to our list ones that are applicable and we should get more seeds yep see from our low seeds we've got 26 more seeds it should be more healthy we'll start this up again third technique is um, ratio depending on what tones you have you'll have a ratio of how much you upload or download and I don't know how this determines but it's always a good thing especially in private seeds or trackers you always want to have a good ratio on upload and download if I go and show statistics here I got 0 0.699 it's, it's not that good but it's decent most people they just download it and then they just delete the torrent you always want to upload the torrent so this um, torrent servers will see what you're doing 
um, you're helping traffic and you'll get a better connection. Fourthly is um, your upstream or bandwidth specifically. You don't want to tax up your upstream since your upstream is has everything to do with your download speed. You don't want to be going browsing or downloading other stuff while you're torrenting. So I just close that down, had an increase in down speed. Oh, it's a bit too fast. Yeah, like that. Okay, up speed. Another here is limiting your up speed. You don't want your up speed to be infinite, so we're going to bandwidth location, set upload limit. You want it to be at least 20% of your down speed. Obviously, you can't really get 20% if your down speed is like mine, 700 at the moment, which is fairly good. But you want at least 20% or maximum 20%. Otherwise, because your up speed and down speed are all part of your bandwidth, if you spend too much uploading, it will affect your down speed. Fourth is add fourth is, wait six yeah six C is um port size. We go into options here. Um then we go into BitTorrent. Most um BitTorrent and UTorrent use uh ports ranging from six thousand eight hundred eighty one to six thousand nine hundred ninety nine. ISP providers normally um let's say Survivors, they normally check up on these ports and be, and they may purposely start blocking up the ports to limit traffic through their servers. So you want to go, you want to change this torrent to something over 10,000, a unique um, port. So you want to go on, yeah. You don't want to, don't press randomize port each start. If you want to keep the same port, so something over ten thousand is good. You could try mine, but there's yeah, mine. <laughs> okay, and uh, protocol encryption. You want to go into BitTorrent, and you want this to be going enabled and allow incoming legacy connections. This again with the internet service provider being an ass and not wanting any torrenting taking up their server traffic's. Okay, and is a uh, pro tips. As you can see here, if you're ever downloading, you can see trackers. You do not want to manually update these trackers. You only do this as a last resort if there's connection problem on your end. If you do up, um, manual update, it could uh, destabilize the tracker and may turn it offline. You don't want that happening because you're downloading off those trackers and other people are downloading and you don't want to be an ass. That should be it. So the most useful one being hash, this should work with most torrents, this being a legal torrent. And I and I do know this, most people do use uTorrent for legal downloading. So probably in hash you'll have better luck. So that's about it. Thanks. I'll probably do the settings for BitTorrent in another video.